Chala Institute of Bankers of Nigeria hosted its 2018 valedictory address for its outgoing president, Professor Shegun Ajibola. Focusing on the theme, Enterprise Risk Management and the Banking Industry, the Nexus, the lecture was an opportunity to assess how risk management plays a key role in the banking sector. Chairman of the occasion, Dr. Mrs. Sarah Alade, former Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, gave a brief insight on the topic. The valedictory address today is on the timely and important topic of enterprise risk management and bank performance. The size and complexity of banks and the volume of financial transactions they handle requires that they employ sophisticated risk management techniques and monitor rapidly changing risk exposures. Enterprise risk management can be defined as a process that enables management to effectively deal with uncertainty and associated risk and opportunity, enhancing the capacity to build stakeholder value. Because taking risk is an integral part of the banking business, it is not surprising that banks have always practiced risk management. Advances in information technology have lowered the cost of acquiring, managing, and analyzing data, and have enabled the use of sophisticated models in risk management. It is therefore no longer sufficient for banks to practice good risk management on an exposure by exposure basis, but also please pay close attention to aggregation of exposures across the entire organization. The increase in scale of operations and size of banks requires substantial improvements in strategic planning, credit concentrations, and asset liability management if losses are to be avoided. Banks must also understand how their various business components, some of which can be quite sophisticated and complex, interact in order to enhance their performance and position themselves to participate more fully in the global economy. Professor Segun Ajibola, who had served the CIBM meritoriously, gave recommendations on the adoption of enterprise risk management in the Nigerian financial services industry. The number one recommendation is that Nigerian banks should, as a matter of urgency, review their enterprise risk management template for full migration to ERM practices as seen in Canada, Switzerland, and at the moment, United States of America. Number two, the board and management of our banks should show total commitment to enterprise risk management, ISO 31000, number three. It is recommended that enterprise risk management as a template should also be deployed to other financial institutions in our system, microfinance banks, mortgage banks, all these banks should in earnest commence full integration into enterprise risk management. Number four, regulatory institutions should not only ensure that banks and other financial institutions fully adopt enterprise risk management framework, they should also provide all the needed encouragement and support for full adherence to enterprise risk management practices. Number five, banks and other financial institutions should engage professionals and train existing staff on enterprise risk management practices. Number six, every staff or banks should see himself or herself as risk management ambassador if there are gaps from the gate, the security man could expose the old bank. If the cleaner fails to do his or her job, the bank immediately. The driver is a risk management ambassador because people's risk reputational risks could crystallize on a bank through the doings or undoings of this category 
of staff. Finally, number seven. Banks should engage experts in various aspects of the operation to reduce exposure to uncharted risks. At times when this is not done, risks that were never emphasized, risks that were never identified, risks that were never thought of, could crystallize in a bank. And the roadmap to manage such risks becomes very, very broad. So uncharted risks should be avoided. But this cannot happen by word of mouth, rather by engaging experts in this field. Finally, is to say that some research works still need to be done. We have made use here of secondary data to look at the extent to which enterprise risk management has affected bank performance in Nigeria. There are quite a number of variables. We are still trying to find out how to quantify. There are quite a number of variables we still need to bring into our model specification to be able to capture every single occurrence in our banks that could affect overall performance. Past presidents of the institute also honored Professor Jubala with a befitting gift to cap his tenure. Thank you very much. Hmm? Congratulations. Madam, congratulations. Then came that moment when he was formally ushered out as the 19th president of the Cheddar Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. We are going down. Oh, it's a jolly good. Just go down. And so say all of all of us, and so. Dr. Uche Olowu, the incoming president of the CIBN, and Mr. Bayo Olubemi, vice president, all speak of their relationship and experience with Professor Jibola. For the past two years, as in the capacity of as his deputy, all I can say that all that we have said in the hall today are real. He is cerebral, he is articulate, and he is spiritual. He, he, in fact, he has left a very wide shoe for us to uh, fit him. Um, he was so passionate about the, the job, he was committed to it, and he left enduring legacies. You look at the national anthem, yeah, even though we had to put it together to now put it the way it is, but he brought the idea. Even when some people kicked against it, you know, we had to support it and make sure that it comes to fruition today. And so many more that he has done. In fact, he ran the race in such a manner that you see that it's no tomorrow. And that is because he was running against time. He wanted to make sure that he accomplished all things. He's a good man. He's done wonderfully well. Um, my prayers for him is that in his future endeavors, he will continue to you know, serve his country. And I know that because in the tradition of the uh, Institute, he's continued to you know, be a worthy advisor. He's a very, very um, nice man, unassuming, intelligent, very uh, cooperative, very loving. And of course, he's a man that wants you to have a buy-in into whatever he does. He doesn't just exist without calling those who are very close to him before to give him official decisions. Uh, even at times, uh, personal things, he, he wants to call you to ask a question before uh, it is. So we, we thank God we are not missing him. He's still on council as the immediate past president. So we, we still um, rely on his uh, advice, his uh, wisdom, his experience. And of course, he's always there and there for us at all times. Professor Jibala speaks on some of the key strides under his tenure while making a strong case for enterprise risk management in the banking system. All I can say is that God has helped us to work within the confines of our statutory mandates to make a part and to also move our institute to the next level. We've leveraged on the opportunity given unto us by Providence to work on the key mandates of our institutes. First, to build capacity for the entire industry. We improve 
on the number of relationships that we have with the various institutions and agencies, with other stakeholders. We roll out so many certification programs. We improved the level of participation in our examinations. We carry the message of professional banking to West Africa and beyond. And we also ensure that so many capacity building programs for different categories of banking and bankers were initiated during this period. Enterprise Risk Management is a new body of knowledge completely. We used to hear of risk management. We started with insurance companies, but with the level of sophistication in banking practices, and even other corporate institutions, including public sector, it has become an integrated approach to managing risks. So we talk of enterprise risk management when we are looking at the risks that confront any enterprise, whatever color, whatever shape, whatever size. When you bring all of them together in an integrated approach, you talk of enterprise risk management. When you don't manage your risk, your risk will determine what happens to you. So risk management is a proactive strategy. It's, it's an approach that has to be proactive in nature. But you discover that in this part of the world, we are more reactive than we proactive. We always look for ways to quench the fire when it is on, which we call fire brigade approach. But if your risk management template is right and is working, you will not be pushed into any kind of fire brigade approach. You will have anticipated problems before they occur, and you will have put measures in place to limit any negative impact and occurrence will have on your organization. That is the concept. So as the economy is becoming more and more sophisticated, as the global economy is becoming more and more integrated and more challenging, there is need for that kind of template in every institution. And as financial institutions are concerned, it's a very fragile industry. It's a very risky industry. So if enterprise risk management is not fully on ground, any little shock, external or internal, will have devastating effect on such institutions. So that is why as of today, the thing is for every bank, every financial institution in particular, to have an integrated approach to managing risk. And that is enterprise risk management. It's evolving, and that is why we are Conversing that all banks go into it, all banks embrace it, so that at the end of the day, there will not be surprises. Professor Jibola has been credited for taking the CIBN to greater heights and high standards for his two years of service between 2016 to 2018. It is expected that the incoming leadership will leverage on this to ensure that CIBN remains the foremost banking institute in the country. Music